Heating and cooling of the plastic sheet has two effects. When the plastic is heated, it expands. The molecules move further apart. When the sheet is cooled, it shrinks. The molecules move closer together. That's why thermoformed parts are always smaller than the cavity or core dimensions. The second effect of cooling is that molecules that become oriented may be frozen in place. The percent of oriented molecules that freeze in place depends on how quickly the molecules are cooled. Fast cooling traps more orientation. Slow cooling allows them to relax. Oriented molecules are under stress. Over time, this stress causes additional shrinkage as the molecules slowly relax. This is why there can be additional shrinkage and warp long after the molding. The shrinkage of thermoformed parts is always greater in the direction of the molecular orientation. The amount of shrinkage caused by orientation depends on the type of plastic and the amount of molecular orientation in the parts. When semicrystalline plastic is formed, there is additional shrinkage as the molecules form into compact crystal structures. Slower cooling gives the crystal structures more time to form. This graph represents shrinkage versus time for a part cooled under different conditions. This part, A, was cooled quickly. A high level of molecular orientation was trapped in the part. The oriented molecules slowly and partially relaxed over a period of a day or two, perhaps longer. The extended time of relaxation caused the part to continue shrinking at a slow rate. If the shrinkage is uneven, the part will likely warp. The same part, B, was cooled in a warmer mold, so the oriented molecules had more time to relax. Most of the shrinkage occurred quickly. A warmer mold temperature resulted in more initial shrinkage and less long-term shrinkage. The temperature of the mold is the most important condition affecting internal stress in the finished parts.